Me dicen que si tengo pendiente a veces. El pendiente se me acabó cuando él tenía 16 años y nos tocó pelear contra un rival que se veía muy fuerte, muy experimentado. Está asustado porque yo veía la responsabilidad de tener un adolescente en mis manos ahí que está peleando con un tipo así. Y sí, en el primer round, Saúl lo tiró. Segundo round le quebró toda la nariz, por allá quedó. Me subo rápido al ring y me dice, mira, ahí está su pinche pendiente. Canelo is attempting to do something that when it comes to sport is one of the tougher things to do, which is tinker with your natural state of your body, the size, the mass, the weight. Es algo muy arriesgado. Si dos kilos es muchísimo en el boxeo de ventaja. Entonces, imagínate siete kilos, quince libras. For him to be going up two weight classes, like that's a lot of weight. Will his stamina be the same? Will his speed be the same? His overall endurance, you know, it's like as the smaller guy, which I am in most cases, you have to make up for that size somewhere. You got to be thinking a step or two ahead. Es mucho riesgo, pero amo los retos porque al final eso es lo que me va a marcar en la historia del boxeo. He feels he can make history. It's uh, a young man underestimating an older man, but the problem is, you know, the old man still got tricks in his bag. There we go. When you're a bigger guy going against a smaller guy, the common thought is, oh, I'm, he's smaller, I can bully him. But when you start talking bully him, they also know they're smaller, so they're giving you everything they got to not get bullied. And if you're just hell-bent on bullying that person, you then, most of the time, end up losing your rhythm. Don't get anxious, all right? With him, you gotta move your hands more, cause he's more. And believe me, after you start getting in your groove, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay? Just gotta get in the habit of moving your hands more. Redemption, in the case of Kovalev, is extremely motivating, because redemption is a lot of times synonymous with last chance. lost first fight, then I lost the second fight, uh, then I lost the third fight. I believed always in me, but with uh, Barry Magyard, I believed much more that I can be again on the top of boxing. Remember, you're the champion in this fight. You're the champion, not that motherfucker you are, okay? This is it for him. This is his one opportunity to get back to that top tier of fighters. That's a dangerous guy to be fighting against. No, y ponle más al hijo de su puta. Desde se me hizo, no se me hizo tan pesada, eh. Una, dos, tres. Yo les digo, eh, suéltenlo. Boxing, you have the biggest entourage, you have all the fans, but it's the loneliest sport in the world. You know, it's not a team, because when the bell rings, everybody takes three steps down, fighter takes three steps in. In other sports, you know, you can be super athletic and it get you by, not in boxing. 
you can duck and dodge all you want. At some point, you got to stand in there and take a hit. At some point, you got to take a hit and deliver a blow back. A boxing match, just like in life, you have to be ready to accept change that'll happen throughout the fight. You in your corner, you have to be very ready. There's so many variables that you have no fucking idea are coming. They thought you were crazy. Are you prepared to go up and down? Are you prepared for the sunshine and the clouds? Are you prepared for the rain and the beautiful blue sky? You have to be prepared for all that. This ain't just one day when something go wrong, then you just want to give up. It don't work like that. You got 40 seconds left. You know the other fighter got more punches in. How can I knock this dude out in 40 seconds before that bell ring? The trainer telling, yo, left, right. But sometimes it'll be a moment where it's no more what you practice. It's straight up. You got to do what you got to do.